Fifth bounce is clap and low catch. So four, five, clap, low catch. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, clap and low catch. Alright, do that a couple of times, just get that in there. the basic trio in so obviously it's bounce clap low catch throw clap catch drop clap catch always changing hands and then the five bounces try and get through five rotations without dropping the ball off you go so five bounces bounce. so five bounces always changing hands you should keep changing hands Okay, grab your kettlebells, just do a few squats with the lowering if you want to. Okay, so your uh, goblet squat to press. So you, you can squat down, low to the floor, back up, up and press, or just squat to press, whatever you're ready for with the weight you're using. Off you go. Just so if you want to make it harder, you lower it to the floor. You touch the floor. Yeah, all the way down. So, so, so you're putting it down on the floor, then curl it back up, but the arms mustn't touch the legs, okay? Make sure your knees are really open for the squat. Okay. All right, so that's your first exercise. <coughs> Second exercise, the Persian press-up. Whichever version you're working on. Just remember, the first thing is to get the chest to the floor. So that means if you need to go to your knees, okay, that's okay. If you are doing the more advanced ones and twisting ones, stick with it for the whole four sets. Try not to descend. If that means you just have to spend a second or two longer on one arm to build up the strength, that's okay. When you are twisting, as you pull across, you're active here. Okay, so it's not passive, I'm not, I'm not dropping onto that side, I'm contracting isometrically all the muscles around the shoulder, that's a big thing. It's the same with the squat, when I'm pulling down, a lot of people are passive here, you're actively pulling down, tensing all these muscles, your hip flexors, your knee flexors, you're pulling into the squat, then you're training, okay? Right, try your press-ups, off you go. 
the five reps. That's it. Remember the hands want to be in line with the chest at the bottom. Oh, it's good. Okay. All right. So you'll know roughly which one you're there on. Okay. Okay. Your lunges. Okay. Now it is push week. Okay. You should have the idea of the forward back to touch, back, forward back to touch. If you can, challenge the load position now to the higher load. But if you go here, so just pay attention with If you go here, you've got to maintain that position. So again, the idea with the high load position is when I'm here, I'm pulling into myself all the time. Again, it's not passive, it's active in the high position. So either the high or low, but if you're gonna go high, you've got to stick high. Okay? Give it a bash, grab your kettlebell. So, left leg forward, left leg back. Come on, let's go. Left leg forward, left leg back, right leg forward, right leg back. Hello, that's not a high position. Right. Okay, then change arms. And off you go. That's it, elbow in tight if you can for the high position, elbow in tight, that's it. Okay. <coughs> Point to remember with the high position. Put your arm, no, 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 put your arm in there, okay? Got the idea? It should be tight, okay? So I should be able to take you for a walk without compression. It shouldn't be creeping up and out, okay? So again, you're using the lats and everything else there. Okay, that's all ready, so just get your weights ready. This all looked pretty good last week. The last four raises have really come on. Okay, so five reps when you're ready. So end plates touching up and back down. Off you go. Okay, just put your weights down, just put them down, just put them down, on the floor. Just, again, quick reminder, most people just went straight to here, okay? Ideally, you want the arms slightly forward at the shoulder joint, just slightly. It helps recruitment of the medial deltoid, takes the posterior delt out a bit, so that's what we're trying to hit here, this is the position. Six, thousand and one. Thousand in the one, thousand in the one, thousand in one. See, I'm not coming any higher than parallel to the floor. I don't want to come up here just because your upper traps will start to get more and more involved. Just takes the emphasis off the medials. And this is just bodybuilding. We're looking for that shape at the shoulder. Okay, give it another bash. It wasn't quite there. Off you go. That's it, really dial it in. Okay, let's get ready to train. So take anything off you don't need on now. Yeah, get your training heads on. 
is squat first of all for two sets. So squat to press or you can add the lower into the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, off you go. It's good. Remember, push the bell up towards the ceiling rather than back. Push it up towards the ceiling rather than back. Good. And up, good, good, good. Keep going, guys. Good. Good. Last 10. And rest, well don't wait down. You've got a second set coming up. Remember with the press, you're looking at really getting that length up through, okay? So here, but brace up through the abdominals as well. Don't let this go, okay? Second set, get ready. And go. Done, lovely. Keep it going. Try and push straight up, JT, John Turner, rather than back. That's it, straight up. That's it, there you go, nice. Last 10. And down, well done. 20 seconds, next exercise of your press ups for two sets. Okay, press ups are next. It's push week, remember, try and really focus in on your form. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Tap and go. Good. Forward and down, up and back. You move forward a bit, Megan, if you want, then you won't hit that thing as you go back. Yes. There you go. All right. Good. As you push back, try and get your heels down to the floor. Get that stretch and down the dog. Okay. That's it. Good. Time, well done everyone. Good, good, good. When you push back and you're down with dogs, try and get the heels down close to the floor. Try not to leave them up. So really push back onto the floor if you can, okay? Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Halfway. Stay nice and strong with Good. And time. Well done. Very good. Up you come. Now the next one's the lunges. So remember, you've got the low carry position right hand or the high carry, but if you go high carry, you've got to last it out. Get ready. Left leg forward, left leg back, right leg forward, right leg back, off you go. So left forward, pulling into that lunge, remember. Always pulling the front knee forward, try and stay as upright as you can. Good. Watch that foot turning out, Daisy. Parallel lines with your feet, remember, parallels. Good. That's it. Good. Last 10. <clears throat> Time, we stand. Yeah, killer, isn't it? Now the other arm. 
Remember your train tracks. Yeah, train tracks for the feet, don't start to cross. Get ready. Five seconds. Off you go, elbow in, elbow in. That's it, elbow in. It's good, Russ. Very good. Elbows in down the end, watch your elbows flying. Keep them tight. Halfway. It's good girls at home, well done. Everyone high carry, very good. Last 10. And time, well done. This is why I said, don't let your elbow come out, because now you've got natural raises. Okay. <laughs> 10 seconds. Count your reps, count your individual reps. Get ready. And go. Good. Remember, don't lift your shoulders at the bottom of the rep. No. Don't lift them. That's it. Good, halfway. Come on, good, and again. Up and down, good. Up, 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 good. Well done, and time, rest, waist down, you've got to go for a second. A couple of little pointers to remember as you lift, don't lift up with the legs, keep your base up and down. The only thing moving is the shoulder joint, okay? All right, set number two, get ready. Off you go. So, nice soft base with your legs. Excellent, well done you guys, good. Come on, huh? Good. Keep it going, keep it going, keep the focus, good. <laughs> elbows up a tad, Russ, if you can. Elbows up, yeah, there you go. <gasps> And tight rest. Okay, 30 seconds. And then you've got to do it all again. How many people just swore under their breath there? <laughs> okay. It's getting serious from the 24s now. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Off you go. Good. So squat to press, floor lower if you can. Oh, that's good, Sophie. Well done. Brilliant. Well done. Yeah, good. Good squats, use that isometric. And time, rest, well done. So to remember, focusing on the legs, if you can, use that isometric at the bottom to get that extra pull into your depth, okay? Get ready, five seconds. Off you go. Onto the chest if you can. Press back onto the chest, then lower. Good done, guys, looking good. Very good. Come on.
And time. Brilliant. Well done. Weights down. <coughs> Press ups next. Two sets. Press ups next. <coughs> Doing all right. Get ready. And three, two, one. Off you go. <laughs> Try stacking the legs. If you're going to do the scorpion, you have to lift the other leg up. That's it. Yeah. Oh, you put up towards the knee, though, I don't know if you can do that one. Why don't you do the other leg. And five. Uh, it's like that. It. If you do the scorpion one, the foot comes over and it's placed on the floor here. And then you lift. Yeah, with these doctors the other leg. Okay, and again, get ready. And go. That's it, then lift. There you go. You've got to really rock back further. There you go, that's the one, good. That's it, that side's good, come right over, then lift. There you go, well done. Last ten. And time, well done, up you come. Okay. Lunges, high carry or low carry. Get ready. Weight in the right arm, left leg forward. Off you go. Left forward, left back, right forward, right back. Good. Try and stay as upright as you can. Halfway. Good. Good. Well done. Oh. Come on, man. Let's go. Last ten. Time. Well done. Now the weight in the other arm. Okay. Everyone okay? Yeah. Ten seconds. Got a bit of a sweat on there, Reese. You all right? Hello? You got a bit of a sweat on. You all right? <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Good work. Very good. Concentrate on your front leg, Pete. Just concentrate on the front leg. Every rep. Front leg. That's it. Good. There you go. Good. forward a bit Lily if you can if you can that's better there you go and time well done very good okay two sets of lateral raises next two sets of lateral raises get ready five seconds off you go Focus in, focus in on it. Good, good, good. Come on, guys, come on. Keep moving. And 
Time, rest, well done. Off you go. That's better. So the hand's slightly lower if you can than the elbow. There you go. You keep going guys, try not to swing it, Daisy, come on. Strong, that's it. Hey. Last 10. And time and rest, well done. Wait and stand, get ready for your arms. Just go through the abs, if you took me at home. Okay, just a quick reminder of your abs, don't worry about the dumbbells still after now. Feet together, knees together, tilt the pelvis first, so your lower back's on the floor. Pulling up position one, the hands are here. Interlock the fingers, pull back, keep the contraction here. Okay, position two, two B is here. Three is here. Okay? Remembering the plank, we're coming into the compression, then anchoring the rib cage and rotating the hips if we can. Okay? Add the V up, a V tuck. So you've got your V tuck, your V up, or your V straddle if you can in that sequence. Okay? Right, let's get ready. Dish hold one in three. Two, one, up and hold it. Good, so really get that compression in the abs, try and get the shoulder blades off the floor. Interlock the fingers, dish hold two if you can. Keep the shoulder blades up off the floor. Pick the feet up now if you can, and start extending one leg, and then the other. Point the toe away from you. Then if you can, if you can keep the lower back down, out to dish hold three, which is full dish, and hold it strongly. I should be able to rock you in this position. Tight, well done. Next one, crush the ball, opposite elbow to knee. Remember the head goes down to the floor. So this time your pelvis is your anchor and we're rotating through the rib cage. Get ready. Knees up to start, off you go. Opposite elbow to knee, slowly all the way down to the floor, then up, opposite elbow to knee. Good. If you can, straighten the other leg, if you can. Well done. That's it, just keep it steady. Brilliant at home, well done. Really good. Last 10. And time, lovely, well done. Next one is your plank, so on your elbows. Now if you can, again, pull your weight forward, anchor your rib cage, and then very lightly rotate the hips. It's quite a small mo movement, not a big one. Get ready, pull into plank and hold. Good. And then if you can, just your hips move, just a little. Just a little. It should be very intense. It shouldn't be like a boat rocking around the ocean. Very, very intense. And then try and reduce the size of the motion and feel it more. Come on, John, this is a big one for you. Keep going. Good though. Hips up a bit, Daisy. There you go. That's it. A bit more up. There you go. And rest. Well done. Next one. Just V ups. 
uh, V tuck, sorry, or you've got the V tuck, the V up, and the V straddle if you can. And you do them in a trio, boom, 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 and then repeat. <coughs> Get ready. And off you go. So V tuck. If you're good with the V tuck, then build it up. Keep going. Come on, Reese, this should be a walk in the park. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Show that John Turner what to do. Let's go. Come on, John. Keep going. Keep going. And time. Well done. Okay, now your hip bridge. So lower your backs, reach for your heels. Make sure you can touch your heels. Okay, pushing up into a hip bridge. <laughs> and then pulling into your hamstrings for three, two, one, then pushing away for three, two, one. You're right, you're right, keep going. <laughs> We can just pull up here and then keep going, pulling and pushing. Good. So we're focusing in on knee flexion, hamstrings, and then the extension quads, and you just keep alternating them. Good, keep going. It's good at home, well done. Keep going, keep going. And rest, well done. Okay, take a breather and then we'll have a stretch out. Everyone okay? Good workout? Well done. Still with us? I'll try. All right, let's have a little stretch before we start to cool down too much. Okay, so left leg forward, tuck your hips underneath you, gently pull forward into that stretch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands down to the floor, straight to the back leg, push the hips down for 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, and down to good. Changing sides, right leg forward, tuck your hips underneath you, gently pull forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, hands down, straight to the back leg, push the hips down for 10, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down, good. Line on to your sides, your quad stretches. So pulling the top leg back, finding that stretch, pushing the hip forward for 10, 8, 3, 2, 1, changing sides, pulling the top leg back for 10, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. Then you press or stretch, so you pull the bottom leg back behind you and you Pull the top knee down, shoulders on the floor if you can. Good, and then change sides. So shoulders down if you can. Excellent, okay, up you come. And turn to face the back door, turn to your left, 90-90 stretch, bring the weight forward, find the light stretch in the glutes, then come up on the shin, make sure the shin is out in front of you, okay, so it wants to be out in front of the body, slide the right leg back and find that pigeon stretch if you can, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Turning out of it, turning to your right. 90-90 stretch first, then weight forward. 
Then coming up on the shin, keeping the shin out in front of you, pressing the left leg back, and then gently turning in towards your right knee. Good. Coming out of it, coming to your frog stretch. So knees open, gently pushing back to find the stretch on the abductors. Then pull forward, open up a bit more if you can. Then push back again for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Then coming up to Seta. Okay, so you're sitting back, pressing the arms up overhead, and gently working side to side for the lower back. One, two, three, Four, five, then pushing up and pulling back. One, two, three, four, five. Good, release. Coming up to standing. Now remember, we're working that inversion, eversion of the foot. So we're working like that through the ankle. Obviously, the faster you can do this, the better control you're developing. This is a big one to focus in on. So Hinge into your hamstring stretch and then invert and evert the foot. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And roll up. Just watch my foot quickly. So it's rolling in and rolling out like that. Try not to just wave it because that's coming from the hip. We want to work from the ankle joint itself if we can. Off you go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, eight, nine, and ten, and rolling up. Good. Last one, your forward bend, coming down, finding that stretch all the way through the posterior chain. And then slowly softening the knees and rolling back up. Any questions? No, thank you very much. All right, good workout. Well done, guys. Very good.